What's going on? My name's Bushman. Today we are back playing some Fallout Shelter. So in the last episode, oh, we got, we got a, a child called Lawrence Harris. Keep his name. We could change it if we wanted to. We want to level these guys up, but we're really oh, we got lunchbox. Yes, we need to get our water supply up, which is that one there, because that is not doing very good. Are they all got good? They need peas, don't they? Peas. He's good. She is not. He's uh, okay. But we've got some new guys over here. Welcome. You are good. So I'm going to put, what's his name? Samuel. I'm going to take out this girl. Uh, you can be the guard. Wait, oh no. It was Randy. Put him in there. We need to put people into the, uh, the diner. She could be good and so could he, I guess. So we'll probably upgrade that. But the... Ooh. I don't know if we need to. I know we've got low water supplies. We've got a med bay, which could be good. I want to get to the uh, overseer office in this one so we can probably send some guys on some missions, maybe. I don't know. That would be very good. Especially, what's the stats the kids got? Okay, we can't click him. We need that water supply though. We got any like, oh we haven't. So that's where I think exploring would be good. And doing quests because you get weapons and armor. And that would be good because um, some of them can have, well they all have like ability, their different skills or ability, whatever it's called, the specials. So like if we get some I don't know, a suit that has good uh, water stuff. P1, was it? What's it called? I don't know. Then they, they can uh, be a lot quicker and a lot better. So we have a lunchbox, but first I want to see what else we need. Collect 100 food, quit one dweller with a weapon, and collect 100 water. Bam, click that. So that's right on the line now. So hopefully in this one we get some water in here to save us. Duct tape. Caps. Oh. So that's what we wanted, but we wanted it. Oh, there we go. Nice. Hunting rifle. Take that. So our water is back up thanks to that lunchbox. Absolutely amazing. So, I'm wondering if I can put, actually no, I can put this on one of these. Probably put it on, put it on this, oh, put it on Roy, shall we? No, no, we don't want it on Roy, what are we doing? We'll give it to, yeah. So we are going to spend a bit of caps now. <gasps> spend an extra diner, is that a good move? I don't know. We'll put you two in because no harm in that I guess. Then hopefully a room unlocked, that's nice. That is the science lab which gives us uh, those uh, radaways which helps our radiation which isn't going to help us yet but only when we get out there there'll be a lot of radiation so I mean I could upgrade these rooms which gives us more uh, production and more storage but I don't see the point uh, doing it in two because if you do if you want to add another one on this where it'd be three rooms you have to upgrade that that single room to the same level as the uh, these two here and then it merges but it won't merge until it's the same level so once I get free then I'll upgrade it 
to the max. There's only three times. One, two, two upgrades to get it to level three. If you know what I mean. But I'm gonna put on this row the medic station. Which I don't, I'm gonna have like all these so that the power generators will all be one line, diner one line, water treatment one line. This one will be the uh, medic, so we'll have the uh, stim packs and one right away one, and then whatever the rest will. Don't know if this is gonna look good, but we can change we can change it down the line, can't we? Let's see, I think it will look good, but like by the time we've got all three of them, we'll probably unlock better ones. And also, there's a um, training facilities which I can't remember if I said in the last episode probably did actually radio station would be good we can contact more dwellers and it looks good in the vault I think I think it looks a good looking room weapon so you, oh yeah there's a um, stations where you can craft your own weapons there's that one there's the armory one no, that's a training one, that is. The uh, outfit workshop, and I think there's a theme one. There is. The theme is the change in the difference of the... Uh, of this. So, this room will be different, depending on what themes you get. I think you can unlock them on the missions. Like, you find, like, fragments. That's where, um, for the armor workshop and the um, weapons workshop, all the uh, junk you find is really good because that's where you craft it in to make a gun which is awesome so I can't wait to get them the training facilities as well so we can train these up to get better in that area and it will be a lot quicker to uh, get these but that that'd be a long way down the line that will so we're almost at the overseer office so once we get this, we might send someone out, like probably, probably this guy here. What's his name? Russell, Russell. Probably send him out. Oh wait, wait, is that a good, is that a good idea? Because I don't, I don't think it would be a good idea because we need the uh, stim packs and radaways just in case he gets into danger and he probably loses a lot of health. Or he probably die. So maybe we 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 do that now. Is that? I think the med bay is more useful. We we'll put that there. We will just put one down. He's got the intelligence intelligence cloak on, the lab cloak. So he will start making some. There'll be one every. Like it's gonna be like three four minutes to get one. But we can have. 15 but every time we upgrade oh my god seven seven minutes you know it's not really going to do anything up there so it might as well be down there doing something it's one every seven minutes it's one we're getting that we weren't getting before so i oh, know this could be a slow one there's enough nothing really happening we need some more dwellers but that so all of the um the uh, supplies are really good, so it doesn't seem like we're running out. I'm just really just hoping for these challenges and just getting these, getting the money, and hopefully we can get some lunch boxes. That's what I'm hoping. But, oh, we got that one. What, what's the next one? What's the next one? Where is the happiness of one dweller? That is not going to be hard, I don't think. I don't know. Who... You need to be up. You and the diamond, though. I think I think I can do that one. So I'm just hoping for challenges, and hopefully some dwellers can come along to Vault Zero, the best vault in Fallout. Is there actually a Vault Zero in Fallout? That would be that'd be really cool if there was one. But it's normally uh, just three digits. So imagine if there was one that was zero. Maybe this is like a secret one. Maybe they will do one. 
That'd be, that'd be really interesting. I'd love to see that. So we're just working on uh, challenges now. Uh, we got... Oh, where is he? Is it over here? The new guy. The child that's grown up. These two new ones, because I put this person in. Because uh, it's one of the challenges now, isn't it? Yes, so I've got to find him. He, You can tell because of the noise and he appears for like a couple of seconds. So it's perfect for the base we've got because it's really small and so easy to find him. If it was a bigger base, it will be a lot harder to find him. But if we collect the water... Oh, 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 oh. Unlock the overset office, which I wanted to do. I put that... Can I, can I pay for I can pay for that. So we're going to put that down. At the top. I think I'm going to redo the top bit anyway, because I don't know what the top's going to be about. Uh, maybe the overset office. Would that, be, would that be a good one up the top there? Well, we're going to put it there, because why not? Uh, okay, ooh, we get a lunchbox and a pool stick, so we can put two guys in here. Or, uh, who is looking the most you are? <laughs> uh, I probably shouldn't take you out. Oh, I can give you skimmy packs. Which I don't think we're gonna need because it's a. I think this is a tutorial one. Kill the. Is that a C or G? Glowing Radroach. I think that's a G. It's a big plate one. Well, it's not the biggest I've seen. Uh, hopefully we can find some armor, some um, some guns. You can tell because this glowing stuff here. Just press A. We get a toy car which. Not good for us just yet, but I have a feeling we're going to find a lot of junk, so I want all oh, red roaches, the most deadliest creatures in Fallout. She may take, oh look, she just destroys them like it's, like it's a bug. <laughs> oh god, two weapons, hunt and rifle and a shotgun. See, can we, uh, right. Uh, oh no, we we got we got the better gun on us already. So how? Why aren't we going up there? We go. So I'm hoping for some good good items because we need some good items. Is there anything in here? No. I kind of like to spam A just in case I don't see anything. There's two. There's three chest things in here. There's one dead rad roach. Oh, that that's good. That one's a uh, good for the. Uh, the diner. Oh, and we, we get a stim pack as well. So we can put that on some guy or someone. And that would give us, I think it's free boost. That desk there looks important. It looks like it would have a really good weapon in it. Radaways, right you know. I'll take it. We need Radaways, we still haven't bought that because we need the Dwellers, we need them. I don't know how often they're going to be coming. Oh, look at who it is, the glowing one. Stood no chance. But I don't know how many dwell or when the Dwellers actually arrive because I haven't had one in ages. And we need, oh, there's our lunchbox and a pool queue. Great. Because I need Dwellers so I can upgrade or get, yeah, it puts people in the facility area, power stations and stuff like that, so we can get better. Then I can upgrade it. But we could have, we could have left now, but I like to do every room, just in case you miss something, like, could have missed that. So you don't have to stay, you only stay until you've done your objectives and you can leave, even if you haven't finished the rooms. I'd rather do find all of it unless you haven't got enough stim packs to heal yourself or you don't think you can survive and then you just cash out. <laughs> Here she goes, running so quick. Alright. Before we do this, we are 
can we build storage? Have we unlocked that? We Now we have the money to buy our storage area, which we should just have enough because I think it's 300. And the uh, lift is... Oh, damn, the lift's gone up. Where is that? Three, it'll be 525. We have enough. Had to do those maths, though. So I don't... Oh, imagine if I worked it out wrong. That'd be funny. Put that storage in. Oh, no. Rad roaches are coming back for us. They didn't like it. Are you going to, like, punch it? Come on, don't stare at it. Oopsie. Oh, oh there you go. Just kick it. Nice. Does she go back in there? No. She just vanished. Where the hell is she gone? I don't I don't like that. I think she should go back to where she was. But just in case like if I put a replacement then she can do that, but Ah, it's not good. So what I think would be a good idea for this game is like if you can turn the lights off and on. So like if I had no one in this room, I could turn the lights off and to save the power. But like if I turn the lights off in let's say this room, then the room stops. Which I think happens if you don't have enough power, some rooms switch off. But it'd be cool if you could actually turn lights off if you're not using them. So you can save power, which I think would be a good idea. Right, we've almost got this. Mysterious, collect 200, 2,000 caps in the wasteland. Because um, I want more dwellers. And I don't know how to get them apart from either making them or, um, or getting a radio station. But I think the radio station will be the... Which is the next one? We need two more dwellers for that. Ah, hopefully there's like a dweller in this lunchbox. Baseball. Caps. That is cool. I'd wear that. <laughs> I've never seen that one before. Nuka Quantum, Nuka Cola Quantum, four of them decent. And more caps because I need caps. I could send someone out to there. Oi, what are you doing? You? Yeah, but you're level one, you're gonna die easy. Should I send them out there? Like, because if I turn this off, they're just gonna be out there till I come back next time, and then they're gonna die. I feel like, I feel like I have to level up someone to a good level for me to send them out there. You, you ain't doing anything, so get out there. I think if I give you all that and all that, you should survive as as long as I want you to. I want to give you the best gun possible. Pets are cool as well. Uh, they just look good, I guess. They do some can increase damage or you can have more health or some something like that. But there's also there's another one. You can get a Mr. Handy, which is quite handy. Oh, I'm gonna need to watch roll. So if I put a Mr. Handy in here, every time it's ready to collect this, Mr. Handy will do it. I don't even have to press it. So if I get Miss Handy in each one, I don't really have to do anything. I just sit back, they just collect it. Good days. Because I need to build some more uh, houses. Houses, um, bedrooms. So see this room here, it'll be good. Look, oh well, a light's out. I know that, yeah. It'd be cool if you could turn the lights out because there's no one in there. You could save the electricity. And it'd be, I think it'd be quite a good idea. I don't know if they will update this game. But if they did, that'd be a cool, cool addition, I think. There's quite a lot of stuff we need. So we want the radio station so we can get more dwellers. The more dwellers we get, the more we can uh, make more rooms, upgrade them unlock more rooms because I want these training facilities so then I can train people up in that specific area. See if this guy's not dead yet. He's earned 200 XP. 
We're killing a savage dog. So I want to see what he brings for us. He could bring caps. He can bring pretty much anything to be honest. Like weapon. Oh, I'm hoping for armor. Some weapons. Maybe maybe some medical supplies. Uh, junk. I, I'm probably going to get a load of that. But I don't want that yet because I'm not making anything. So mainly just armor and weapons. Maybe a dweller. Or an outsider. Or a wastelander. They're not dwellers until they're in here. But we got this one. A quick four dwell dwell dwelled with a weapon. You know what? I think I have four weapons. I want to give a weapon at least in each room. In case there's a uh, like a rad roach infestation or something in that room. Someone can shoot it. That one seems a better option. And that's everyone in this room. I don't really want to give her a weapon. It just wouldn't feel right, I guess. I'd give no one in the top because if we get raiders. Oh, here we go. There he is. I see him. Boom. Got him. He gives us money as well, which is cool. That's the first time I've seen him, so he may come a lot often. We only need one more for that challenge. So I want to give this lady here a weapon. That should be that challenge. And these challenges are not give. Oh, there it is. Collect 15 weapons. Hopefully the guy outside will get us those weapons. He won't get us 15, I know for, for a fact. But that guy out there can do this challenge and he can do this challenge. There's a lot of quests in here. I don't want to do any yet. There's daily ones, weekly ones... The time up there is how long it takes to get there. So if it takes three hours to get back, it's going to be one and a half hours. No, three hours to get there, one hour and a half to get back. This one's good because Bottle, Bottle and Cappy, they uh, come in now and again. And if they dance in your um, vault and you click on them, they give you caps. Or they can give you Nuka Cola Quantum. Nuka Cola Quantum. I don't want to do any uh, any yet because some of these are quite high levels, higher than us. So still, oh, I thought that was a rad roach. But I just want to build on um, what we've got and get better and level up people. Probably stick them out in the wasteland, not for too long because I don't want them dying. And I've got to keep an eye on them because that guy is a level one. He he can level up quickly, but I think putting people into work is the best option so they can they can level up as well as doing work i'm gonna put this here on her bang you're a lot smarter now for just putting a jacket on but there's also stuff that could happen into our vault so there could be raiders uh coming in bashing in trying to kill our guys once they die you get you can get caps or weapons or armor off them but you could get a load of stuff like ghouls attacking you or uh, death claws, which are probably the deadliest in all Fallout game. Normally, when I played Fallout uh, New Vegas, there was uh, every time I saw a death claw, I ran the opposite direction, even if it's just one. They they they're so powerful. They they're powerful in Fallout Four as well. I think they're still the most powerful in that game. They're, they're scary, very scary. So I will be playing Fallout 4 very soon. Probably not very soon, probably soon, probably soon. Because there's a lot of games that I want to start playing, but as I have to finish games probably before I start them. Yay, I did it. Found him last time. Kill 20 creatures in the wasteland. We can do that. We can do all three of these challenges in the wasteland. I don't think we can do it with this guy though. He's not going to do it all now. Because he's level 1. He hasn't got any armor. He hasn't got this. He, he needs better weapon I guess. He needs more medical supplies. Which I just need more dwellers. So I can put them in. Make these rooms bigger. So I've got the supplies. I can get more um, more med bays. More the Radaway ones. What are they called? And then I can make a lot more and then I can send a lot more guys out. I don't know the limit. Can we just send like everyone out there? That'd be cool. He hasn't took any damage though and he's gained quite a few XP in 10 minutes. Found quite a few caps. I'm just waiting for him to pop some weapons or armor. Oh, he's killed a creature. 
the wastelands. So I think he'll do that one pretty easy because he can just kill savage dogs all the time. I don't want him to go out there and meet a Deathclaw because he has no chance. At a level 1, defeating a Deathclaw, doesn't matter how many Stimpacks you got, you, I don't think you're going to survive. I'd be surprised. Yeah, so I want to stick another guy out there. It might be have to be this guy or... No. Because these guys are all working. Maybe I put one of these out there. Probably him because he's got a higher level. But I want to keep getting these stim packs. They come in every three minutes now which is great. And then maybe she's level three. She could go out there. So I'm just wondering is strength and agility and everything that affects the, uh, the wasteland. Because... I would want someone with good strength to go out there. I don't know if that works in the wasteland or that just works inside the vault. Suffered two damage, oh my god, and zero XP. So I don't know what else there is for, to do. Um, I want to upgrade stuff, but I need dwellers. Because there's no point me putting these in and then upgrading it. Because it's just going to increase more time, but increase the supplies as well. But I don't think it's worth it. So I think I'm going to stop this one here, come back next time, hopefully we get some dwellers. I'm going to play a little bit offline, but I'm not going to like go too much, I'm just going to collect the supplies. Hopefully we get some dwellers lined up, I won't put them in, I only put them in to the next episode. I probably won't build, I, I won't build or upgrade anything because I, I want that stuff in the videos. But I'll probably just do the challenges offline if I can do them and just save like the lunch boxes or whatever I get next time. Um, hopefully this guy will come back. I'll probably recall him before, but he'll be lining up at the next episode if I don't forget about him and he doesn't die. Because that's probably what's going to happen. That's one thing I forgot as well. The guy in the wasteland, he can find buildings or something like you can go into and you get an option if you want him to go in there or not so it's like a quest type area like the first one we can go in a building and explore it and kill whatever's in there or save whoever's in there but I think that's only happens when in the wasteland so next episode should be a lot more done and a lot bigger base which that's what I'm hoping I want to get this uh oh I want this base to get a lot bigger and a lot more dwellers Hopefully people level up as well. So that'd be great. So I want to say thank you all for watching. I'll catch you all in the next video. What's that? Are you kidding me? That was a mystery guy. And we missed him. Well, thank you all for watching. I'll catch you all in the next video. Goodbye.